Hello there my good friends of YouTube. As promised, I'm showing you the transformers that I got from the warehouse. Starting with this one. This one's got two IGBTs on it. On, this, on the top of this one. It's quite a large one. It doesn't stand as high as the other ones that I had though. Let's have a look on the, on the IGBTs. Made by UPEC. E U Peck or something. Can't really pronounce that. How you would pronounce that? But the uh, the model number is TT nine six S zero eight KCC. It's a nice little input standoffs just there. It's four of those. I'd assume this is a uh, some sort of control panel to. Uh, sense and uh, adjust the voltage and the outputs and everything else for the computers I presume so and this this thing here I presume is the controlling of the inputs There's two outputs on each side, anode and cathode. Now this one is made by... Is this one made by Philips? I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's GE Medical Systems SA. This one. And it's... It's 112, 125 kVA, 100 kilowatts. <clears throat> December 2000 this one was. Yeah, they're built. Going to this one, I've got the top off. This one's the same make. And this is... 90 kVA at 80 kilowatts and the phase of Hertz is 1 to 48 kilohertz DC shut up Marley that's got some nice little standoffs on the top there there's a motor there to change the the outputs to either have it to have these two uh, sorry over to these two or these two or vice versa vice versa either this one and this one or this one and this one as I'll show you the motor mechanism in a minute there's a motor just there very strange insides to this one now until I get some covers off I don't know what's going off here it's that big massive thing there, which I don't know what it is. In fact, there's the... See, this must be the transformer under here. Behind here. And there's some other bits and bobs just under there. This must be a diode array inside of here. Or a capacitor. Upside down here, sorry guys. A diode there. Not quite sure what that is. I've got two more to show you in a minute as well. But I've not took the top off that one yet. That's the heaviest out of them all, as it's the biggest. But here, that is seriously strange. Now, unless that is a diode pack or a capacitor pack, I have got no idea. Or monitoring, some sort of monitoring. Shut up, Molly! So there's the mechanism you see which moves this arm. 
backwards and forwards. Let me just tap on this. There we go. Which moves this arm backwards and forwards to uh, change the output. So there's another one of those. It's either a capacitor or a diode. So I don't know until I take this. Oh, right. Look, guys. Look what I can see. I've just seen ferrites. Do you see? Ferrites, all the way up. Now then, this must be some sort of <laughs> each individual one. So there's one there, there's one there, one there, and one there. So there's four ferrites, ferrite transformers, flybacks, as I say. So that's what that is. So now we know what that is. Some nice thick wires. So these are, oh yeah, that's the input. I say they're rated for 600 volts. They're only rated for 600 volts, so that's the input. And that goes into there. Fucking hell, how thick are those? Sorry about swearing there, guys. So that's the transformer. Uh, can you see just inside there some sort of copper? So that's the case into that then. This is some serious beef, guys. So, we'll, I shall do another video on those parts when I get out of there. I can't wait to open that one as well. And see what lies inside of this one, which will be another video. So, I've got another one of these, and I've got a dental head. That cost me £20 for the dental head. This one is give me to uh, see if I want it, if I don't want it, take it back to him. But uh, I wanted to have a look inside of this one, which I've taken the, the nuts off of this to show you inside. So I'm just going to put the camera down while I drag it over. See this one... This one is a Siemens, the same as the last ones we had, but it's a small one, a very, very tiny one. This is only 49 kV, so 50 kV. It's just a, it's just an anode out, or one, one out and ground, and uh, so to ground. So this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I might stick this and power this by an, uh, an IGBT, but. Uh, Let's get this thing up and open. How am I going to do this? Millie! Can I borrow you for a minute, sweetheart? Don't let the dogs in, babe. Sorry about me shouting, guys. I need someone to hold the camera while I lift this up. Can you just hold the camera a minute while I just open this? Yeah. Stand over here, don't. Just, just uh, get it on this area here. And we'll just make sure it's focused in. Whatever you do, don't touch that red button because you'll stop it. Yeah. Good girl. Right, guys. As you can see, are you on there? Is it on there? Yeah. As you can see, that's the transformer just there, which is an iron core. You've got a capacitor at the bottom. Just see if I can prop that on there. There we go. We've got a capacitor just down there, and you've got a diode bank just at the bottom there to DC it. And you've got two ferrite transformers down there. And then this side, we have some sort of resistor array which is inside of here. And this is the capacitor which runs across the bottom there. And as we can see, there's two fly you see those two flybacks, as I always call them, guys. So yeah, can you get right in there, Millie? Yeah, in where right there. Yeah, just tap the screen because it'll focus on what I'm looking at. You can't even hardly do it, can you, with those nail extensions on? Well, yeah, that's what it looks like in there, guys. Oof. Do I press the red button? No, don't press the red button. Okay. 
<laughs> I have to do everything I've just done. So, putting this back together. So what is that in there? It's mineral oil. Mm. So, I'm going to oh, the smell of it. <laughs> Where do we put the camera? Nowhere, just hold it for a second. Don't touch that red button because I'm, I'm still recording. Just getting this mineral oil off my hands. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, so that one is a, another project for another day. And as you can see, that's the that's where you stick the probe or one of these things, whatever you call. I don't know what you call them. We'll go into this one, which is a dental head. Now I had one a very very similar one to the one of these quite some time ago. This one's had all the oil emptied out of it, and unfortunately the uh, x-ray tube inside there has been broken and you can just see some lead just there so that is going to have to be chiseled open with a chisel and get the, trans get the transformer out of there and uh, see if we can clean up that, uh, that transformer but that is very very heavy very heavy indeed. And that one is SMR, Surgical Medical Radiology. Call. Radi is it radi radiological of some sort? I don't know how you pronounce that. Well, date is 2000 on there. It was the last time it was tested. But uh, it doesn't say what the KV of this thing is, is going to be. Well, I reckon that's going to be about 80 to 100 KV, I reckon that one. Because the one I've got upstairs, which came out a very similar head, is 100 kV. So, so, God, that's going to be mental taping that all that is. It really is. I do like those standoffs. I see like No, yeah, very cool. It's time to open that one, I think, and I'll look inside of there. Thank you for watching, guys. Look after yourselves and be safe. Keep your eyes open as uh, I'll have uh, another video coming very, very soon. Shortly, should I say. Take care of yourself, guys. Speak again.